your sister is a bit of a nightmare. I would say that. I mean, at most, she's a daymare. Those are so much scarier. Yeah. She put glass in her food, Jake. She's a con woman. Look, she's a survivor. She's had a really hard life. And I thought I had it bad because I would only see my dad for like an afternoon once a year, but compared to her, I was a real DJ Tanner. Full House, her dad was always around. Yeah, I've seen Full House. Look, I'm sorry she's not what you expected. She is a lot, but she's my sister. And she's young and she just got out of a really bad breakup. <laughs> she's home. Kate, are you okay? Sounds like you're breaking stuff. Hey, sorry, were we being too loud? We? Oh, hey. I'm William. I thought you just wanted a picture. Oh, we took a lot of pictures. Yeah. Get in here! Oh, no, he's my brother. That doesn't bother me. OK, I'm going to bed. Ugh, there are silver butt prints everywhere. Why did he need to paint his butt? He wears pants. Look, I'm sorry about all this. I really thought she was going to be like me, but scamming restaurants and hooking up with street performers, she is 100% my dad. Look, it's a two-day trip. We just need to survive the next 18 hours. Sure, sure. And, you know, I sat through a whole play once, so I can get through anything. I took you to that play, and you said you loved it. Because I did. Well, 55 minutes in the shower, and that silver paint will not come off. It's gross. Anyway, my astrologer is always telling me everything happens for a reason, and I'm like, then why did Kurt dump me? But now I know why. So I would leave Dallas and move to New York to be near you. Whoa, really? I mean, that's great, but you know, it's so expensive here. I'll be fine. I got a head full of dreams and a pocket full of glass. I'm a New Yorker now. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, forget about it. Babe, what are we going to do? My sister cannot move here. All right, I'll just tell her it's a bad idea and she shouldn't do it. Ugh, but I'm the only family she has. I don't want to hurt her feelings and send her into a downward spiral. She slept with a tin man, Jake. I don't think the spiral goes any further down. Right. Wait, I've got it. The only reason Kate wants to move here is because Kurt dumped her. But what if we could get him to take her back? Then she would definitely want to stay in Dallas. Oh, that's smart. But what if he's a rational person and he doesn't want to be with her anymore? Not a problem. I found his Facebook page. He just posted a black and white photo of a dead flower with the hashtags my heart, Kate forever, and love is dead. Oh, he misses her for some reason. Amy, this is it. He clearly already wants to get back together. All we have to do is convince him to fly here. Jake, this might work. Yes! But are we actually going to do this? Are we really going to fly a man to New York City just to ensure that my new sister doesn't move here? Hey, Amy, do you have a morning after pill I can bomb? I will get you back. Use my miles. Why are we going home? We haven't even done the Sex in the City tour. Oh my gosh, I am such a that one who fell through the sidewalk hole. Oh, yeah, you totally are. We're just so excited you're moving here. We thought, why not go straight home and celebrate at exactly 8 o'clock? Kate. Kurt? Kurt? The Kurt? What? Oh my god, what are the chances? Oh, Kate, you didn't tell us how handsome Kurt is. I love your jean shorts. Babe, breaking up with you was the biggest mistake of my life. It was? Oh my god, and he flew all the way to New York to tell me that. That's so romantic. It's beautiful, really. You're not even allowed to leave the state. What's that now? I think I'm gonna let my skank parole officer stand in the way of true love. Kurt! <laughs> he seems like a cool guy. 